Hello again guys, thank you for joining me. Right, there's been a little bit of off-camera stuff that's gone on. Basically all I did was go up to the old yard and um, t basically to get that propane tank which was on its way out, uh, which we left there ages ago. But whilst I was there I did some more fucking around and you know, picked up the barbecue and another propane tank. Also picked up the last books and bits and pieces that we had there. Um, and we had a bunch of stuff in one of the um, crates being stored as well so we picked up all that shit as well some of it safety glasses pulley that stuff might come in handy at some point we baited a load of bird boxes on the way out there and we you know we gleaned it all as we came in we also picked up that rather attractive little bookcase which I quite like maybe just keep that one for the skills maybe um, and yeah we did have in that old place a rather warm jacket there as well so that's one weight and 25 temperature so when it shit does get really fucking freezing we can stick that on there um, and that should do us um, Hydrocraft did mention you know looking into making our own clothes which I'm sure I've got enough feathers to do it um, presumably we need a bit of leather and stuff like that we do need to get to tracking and hunting I want to try and do that ASAP uh, but yeah I mean we've got a lot of shit to do so let's stick the barbecue down um, if we can. We've got it in the main INV, haven't we? So we'll stick that fucker down. Uh, might as well put it near near the fishery and the escabeche. Uh the low the low shelves. We might be able to use that in the library. I have a feeling it might be a slightly too long for it, but you know. Okay, we'll stick it in here. Two, three, and where's the other one? Three there. Yep. Yepers, right. Oh, bloody hell, microscope and petri dish. We're not fucking around with that anytime soon again. Oh, so what else can we put down? That propane tank, that's a big bugger. Let's put that down here. No, okay, here then. And what we can do is we've got this one here. I don't know if we can just straight up empty it without any trouble or whether we have to stick it in the barbecue. Um, and just whack it on until we have no, yeah, looks like we can't do that, so insert propane tank and that should reflect it then if we get a little bit of info fuel, five hours uh, I mean we could use it, right we could use it to cook up all these birds that we just, you know collected so yeah, we'll probably do that, we'll do that in the morning and then um, whatever's left over we'll just let it run on until it packs up. So, what's this? Is this my general sort of carpentry and other shit? I'll put everything in here then, I suppose. Copper pipe, we know what to do with that, and the monkey wrench. We will put those over in the um, recycling bit. I don't know about the multi tool glass retort flask, fucking hell. Inhaler, the locket can go over there as well. Metal detector, might as well go in there. Petri dish, yeah, all that stuff. Pipe bender, you need a pipe bender. It's one of those things that doesn't get used up when you're building stuff, so that should be handy um, to have it. Sieve, we're not mucking around with sieves, but you know, whatever. Sulfuric acid, you might as well go in there as well, mate and the white out just because I have no clue what to do with you otherwise so let's put a sheet in there um, yeah so we're getting a little bit scrappy steel pulley we'll stick that in there as well but I so say we might well need it we've got a load of old shit in here safety glasses yeah, we might well need some of this stuff. Did we put the the thermometer in here? Yes, we did. Good. We're going to need that. We're going to need that for sure. Okay. Put those in there. We ought to get to bed, I suppose. Matey's going to be in too much pain um, to do that. Can we can we just take the mammal one and, and gather dung? Is that an option? Can we do that? Gather dung. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We'll need the dung. Dung for does he not get tired? Yeah, makes him drowsy. Yeah, very good. Good. Jobs are good in that. Okay. Yeah, we need these poopies. Um, 
blimey. A bit weighty. Yeah, we need those for when we start. Oh, small game poop. Wicked. So what do we need? We need some sort of a duck um, call thing made out of wood. And some other bits and pieces, maybe a bow and arrow, and we can um, make that tar duck and that Hydromancer was talking about. Um, shit, we should really go to bed. This is a little bit ridiculous. Uh, monkey wrench, can we stick that in there? A copper pipe and a locket. And then we're basically done, I think, guys. All that we need to do in the morning, really, is stick away these books. Um, and then we're, yeah, we're good to go again. I want to build the laboratory by the end of this episode, and I want to start mining as well. These are big hydrocraft things, and this is a hydrocraft playthrough, so, you know, we might as well get stuck in. I'm on a cup of tea. It's a Saturday evening here in the UK, and I'm drinking tea. I must be mad. Um, Dirty bandage again. <sighs> right. Uh, yeah, I suppose we better address that. We better sort that out. Remove that bandage. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, Vortex, are you, are you watching, mate? Uh, did you um, did you start a new character? Um, how are they faring? How are they doing? Where are you chilling out these days? Let me know. Same goes to everybody. Has anybody died? Has anybody um, bettered their position or whatever? Andrew Brown, you should by now own... I, I trust that you own the entire east side of the map by now, matey. Uh, okay, pour into empty bottle. Good, 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 good. Jobs are good. We can stick this kettle in the barbecue now. Right, we're going to butcher all these. And please, please, please leave enough time to um, make the laboratory. I don't want making the laboratory to last eight episodes. You know, I really don't want that. Um, nor do you, I imagine. Right, well, we got stiffed on the chickens there. We might have over over hunted them, so to speak. Uh, right, turn the fucker on then. Yeah, burnt cockroach. Well, that's no good, is it? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we can use the bones to make um, like bow and arrow type stuff. Jeez, I've got 49 there already. No, no, no. As I say. Alrighty. Um, there were some things I needed to look out for as well. Things that we could potentially use to um, make some poultices. Maybe try and increase the rate um, at which we heal from the burns but it's kind of pointless because we're going to continue to burn ourselves you know oh what was that no we didn't just get one in cooking did we info four hours 38 minutes or so we'll leave the fucker on then I don't like wasting gas obviously but we need that empty tank guys so screw it um, what did we get that skill increase for Oh yeah, I was just checking. We are fairly near levelling this. Hooray! Cooking! And we don't have to read another book. That's always a result. Ah, nice one. Okay. Uh, again, I'm sure cooking as a skill comes into Hydrocraft quite heavily. I'm sure there's shit that we can now do, having unlocked level 7. I have no idea what, but um, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'm excited to get this up to 10. Um, ah, we got fucking we got quite a bit of time to um to squander away then well let's put these books away for a start i suppose and then they will all go into the library at some stage i think i'm going to alphabetize it in there uh might be the easiest thing and then we can go and find anything that we actually need 
uh, doing it that way. Um, yeah, I can only play for a bit tonight. Um, I say work has been crazy, but I've got some mateys coming over tonight. We're going to be doing some sort of um, multiplayer stuff on Steam. Fuck knows what we're playing. Could be speedball or something else. But, you know, it'll be a bit of fun, a bit of beer and stuff. Some giggles. So I apologise that I don't <laughs> want to have that time um, for Zomboid. But, you know, you've got to see people and um, and all that stuff. <laughs> as well as all the, the regular day-to-day. Uh, right, come on, fucker. Burn yourself out. What we might as well do then is... Uh, can we... Can we preserve any of this meat? Can we preserve any of it with a good old bit of salt, I wonder? Maybe it's a book or a magazine or something that we haven't read. Baking tray, salt... Any full ones? That doesn't say. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'll take another one just in case. And a baking tray, maybe. A zipper bag or two. Cheese making. See, this is the shit that we haven't read yet. Okay. I wonder if it. I wonder if it says in here under recipes. Surely it's got to be under cooking. Preserve. No. Dry. Make dry ramen noodles, eh? Flour or rice flour. That's cool. Wow. There's a use for the for the sh for the stuff after all. I mean, it's not like we're going to go hungry, guys. Let's be honest. But it's interesting nonetheless. Uh, barbecued duck. That sounds good, doesn't it, Richard? bit of barbecued duck, a bit of, um, you know, pike, a couple of glasses of white wine. When the summer comes back around, that'll be lovely. That'll be lovely. Right, What do we? how do we do this then? Is it dry or is it salt? Refill salt. Salt meat. Fish fillet. Ah, curing salt or salt. Peter powder. Salt meat. Hmm... Salted small, b yeah. Okay, so how the shitting hell do we create this um, curing salt or saltpeter powder? Surely we can make it, can't we? No, general salt. Nope. Okay. Uh, trapper. No. What would it come under there? Was it stone working or something? It's not going to be engineering, is it? Um, could be alchemy. Add salt. Make salt powder. What? Okay, rock salt. Cool. Grindstone, grindstone, mortar and pestle. Yeah. Make salt peter. So, hang on, what? Oh, right, okay. I was going to say, require. <laughs> you can't require something to make it. That's a fucking paradox. Um, but uh, I was misreading it. We need salt peter to make salt peter powder. So where the fuck do I find salt peter? I might have to look on the undeniable thing. So we can't get curing salt out of that one. Ranching's not going to help us. It doesn't sound very leisurely to me. Salt, no. Masonry. Salt, no. Fuck you. Uh, weaving, research, firecraft, anchor, death, fishing. Glass working, papercraft. I don't loot pottery. I don't think it's going to be any of these, is it? Oh well, that's something for me to look up. No doubt one of you guys will know and you'll be very helpful and tell me ah, fuck this. Right, put those things away. Create a salad from some of our bird meat and then I need to speed up time because I um, I need to build the laboratory guys. I suppose I could start mining. That's something I could do. In fact, yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Why didn't I think of that before? Baking tray Okay, 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 okay. Right, let's grab the pickaxe. We've got a mining machine as well. What else could we possibly take over there? That's got to be it, isn't it? I mean, we have got a shovel, but I imagine a pickaxe is going to be good, and that machine is probably better. So let's put the pickaxe over here. Uh, bowl, create salad. Sorry, I need to create these salads. 
And then guys, basically, once I can make some paint, just to say that, hey, we've done it, this is a first time thing, I'm then going to create another fast forward of us finishing the library and maybe starting on the bar as well and then we're going to move on to the kitchen. This wing over here might be a lounge area and also some storage, maybe a garage and something like that. Uh, but anyways, let's pick up this big fucker here and let's get to work, hey? I can already hear the um, that tune. Working in a coal mine, going down. <laughs> right, mine all. What are we using? Are we using the portable mining machine? We must be. It doesn't run on batteries or anything. Red clay, chipstone, peckish. Very heavy load. Well, no fucking doubt, mate. Rock salt, there it is. Bauxite ore, eh? Hey? Magnetite. Tin, tinny tin tin. Yeah. God, it takes a while, doesn't it? Large box with trash. Fuck you. Oh, how do I stop this? Oh, shit one, Jenkins. How do I... <laughs> oh, no. How do I... Um, how do I break away from this before I starve? Ah, good, okay. Well, that seemed to work, whatever that was. Dirt, we've got dirt as well, have we? Dirt 27, you bastard. Okay. Um, large box with trash. Stones. Tar, hey? Interesting. Sulfur, cool. Yep, it's all new to me, guys, so it's nice. Limestone. I think we can use the limestone for leather. Um gold baby that's quite a rare one I believe so well done Richard give yourself a pat on the back matey you found your first bit of gold you're a, a true prospector <laughs> well done lad have we got any whiskey can we celebrate Hoi. yeah so mining can potentially keep us busy with the mining and the foraging I suppose we have no reason to leave this entire you know this complex now we can just cower in here I say that one of our sort of middling strategies now guys is going to be to level up aiming which is going to suck balls it really is um, aiming is going to have to be gotten up to phew, aiming and reloading this is it's going to have to be gotten up to at least level sort of I don't know five or six before we have a good old shotgun rampage uh, Right, this thing must be empty now. Fuel, zero minutes. Well, shall we just nip this in the bud? Shall we just remove it and do it? I say that, don't I, but... It still weighs 20, fucking thing. No, let's go to sleep. Make up your goddamn mind, Jono. Clean the burn. Burns, guys. I mean, you, I'm sure you know this, but burns last forever. But... They're pretty controllable. They don't seem to get infected. You can just use a plain old shitty bandage and it does the job. You don't need to disinfect it or anything. Um, yeah, it's all good. Right. God, you're hungry, aren't you, mate? Blooming heck. Oi, oi, oi. Right, we're nearly there then, guys, at another episode, and we haven't killed a zombie. It got hairy uh, when we went back to our old place. It really did. <laughs> Please let me sleep. Yay. Um, when we went in there, there were no zombies around, right? And um, I didn't exit the game or anything. We just went uh, up, you know, into that portal cabin. When we left that portal cabin, there must have been about... We had to kill about 20 zombies. Um, just all fucking flew at us from different directions. And we were really heavily burdened as well. I should have started recording, but I was just... I was more thinking about trying to keep my... You know, keep my arse intact. Um, it was, yeah, pretty nervous, really. Just, you know, how bogged down we were. Um, it's still hot, okay. Is that a bug? because that's been in there overnight when it hasn't been on. Okay, weird. 
Empty bottle. You can just, yeah, waste. I say waste, it's all necessary, isn't it? But you can spend a lot of time just doing this, this general upkeep, this general fucking maintenance. Right, come on, let's go build the laboratory. Let's do it. I need to build a workshop first of all, so I'm sure, I'm sure that that won't be particularly um, troublesome, will it? No, you say. Right. Oh man. Okay, create salad. Come on, how long we got? We can do this. It's 20 minutes. We can get this done. And then when we build the upstairs, I am going to take the advice of you guys and... Um, oh, no, no, no. Take your advice and build... I'll slot in somewhere, you know, a rain collector barrel on the um, roof so that it can drip down into a sink. Might even make a little downstairs toilet, you know. Could be near the bar, could be on the other side of the kitchen, in between storage. What the hell is this thing? Oh yeah, I built this, didn't I? Carpenter bench. Um, right, logs. Presumably, again, we have to use the saw buck bastard to make a workbench. It's got to be... can't be anything more complicated than this, can it? Right, fuck it, let's find out then. It must be under carpentry. No, suicide's not an option, mate. Uh, make workbench. Sturdy bastard stick. So ten planks, two sturdy sticks. That's fine, that's doable. Sturdy sticks are in one of these crates over here. How many did I need? I can't remember, I'll just take a load over. Was it two? Bloody hell. Make workbench. I need to make a few of these, I imagine, because you know when we build a herbalist table, when we build an electronics table, you each one requires one of these workbenches. Hurry it up, dude. Okay, all good. Yep, marvellous. Uh, oh, we got a couple of worms from from doing um, the mining. That's nice to know. If I can get them as a result of mining or enough of them and not have to worry about, you know, fucking around with um, digging for ages, then that's good. Okay, now I think what I'd prefer to do would be to pick everything up and build it from the inventory, just so that nothing goes wrong here. There's a test tube with a cork, like a stray one, which might have to be, might have to have the cork removed. Hey, we're going to do it from here as well, from the crafting menu. I think if you're in doubt, do it from the crafting menu um, and things are more likely to go right. If what I've read is true, where is... Where is alchemy? Uh, make laboratory. Okay, yeah, we just need the glass test tube. We've got... What are you talking about? I've got the empty propane tank, you bastard. Glass test tube. Okay. Yep, it is favourited as well. Oh, man. Oi, oi, oi. Why? Oh, <laughs> why, 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 why? Oh man, why does that? Why is that saying that? Ah, oh. so we're at an impasse, guys. Ah oh, man, I really wanted to make the laboratory this episode. I really did want to do that. So why is an empty propane tank not an empty propane tank? I have built this um, in like my little test side branch thing, you know, um, where I've just tried to test out bits and pieces. I found an empty, I must have found it empty 
you must have to find it empty if it's depleted it doesn't work hmm okay I need to test this out then I need to do a little bit of research guys but you know it's gonna fuck it I'm gonna tack it onto the end of this because um, I want I want to get get to work with building this place you know it's gonna be winter soon I want at least the fucking the ground floor built and I'm not gonna get it done so that's where we're at guys I am going to drop this shit down here um, if I have to I'm gonna go out scavenging until I find an empty propane tank um, I'll just go for all the garages and see what happens and then I'll bring you back in alright I'll see you in a second right guys we have our fix I remembered what I did we need to fill up the propane torch from the old um, big bastard propane tank and then once you've filled it it creates the empty propane tank so there's obviously a bug uh, with you know doing it in the barbecue um, and I then found that bug online afterwards and apparently it leaves like a very 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 slight sliver of gas in there uh, meaning that it kind of stays as a propane tank weighing 20 so what we'll do is we'll go and find that old one and we only need one of these things but you know just to see if it works we'll try and fill another propane tank torch sorry this one looks full now but you know we'll give it a go so without further ado we have everything we need to create the laboratory so we're going to do it from the crafting menu here make laboratory it's in favorite but it won't let me do it from favorite so I have to go and find it from uh, alchemy so here we go craft one do, 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 do. I like it nice touch at the bottom there lightning again we had thunder and lightning here in the UK last night exciting about half a mile away from the house right uh, laboratory now what do we do do we just do we just drop the fucker Wee! look at that doesn't that look neat and tidy, hey? <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's kind of cool. It's even got the propane tank there. It's got the little tubs. Got the gloves. Got the dropper. Got the clamp. And the missile, uh, missile, missile, pestle, pestle, and mortar. Um, all that stuff. The brush. Yeah, cool. Okay. Test tubes up there. Yeah, nice. The wash bottle. Nice touch. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, good job whoever made the graphics for that. That's kind of cool. So, what can we do with this bastard thing then? Let's um, let's have a look. I wrote it down, guys. What we're going to do is we're just going to start to make some paint because I want to do it with you for the first time. And then off camera, I'll go ahead and make shitloads of red paint and um, we'll finish the library. We'll do it in fast forward fashion so you can see what I do and any other nonsense I think I'll just cut to because let's face it, this will be, you know, we'll be probably about 5,000 episodes of um, Dick Jamison which you may or may not want but you know I'm gonna just take a gamble and assume that you don't want to watch 6,000 episodes of me uh, washing my clothes which I managed to do <laughs> I found that little soap was in here it didn't use much so you don't want to see that you don't want to see me cooking hunting and all that shit for you know thousands of hours red clay I believe we can use to get pigment from which is really handy we don't have to dig up I think it's cinnabar we need empty thing and if we take the bucket of water as well and we'll put our water bottle into our backpack here and I think that's all oh glue we need some glue as well yeah I did write it down but I think that's from memory let's have a look let's have a looky look here Right, yeah, glue, empty paint, tin, and water. Although it actually has it listed on Undeniable as a paint jar for red paint, so I'll be really fucked off if it works for all colours except from red, because I want this to be red, and we haven't even found any other red paint unless there's some at Mold Jar. I'm not going all the way back there just for some red paint. Uh, what am I looking for? Glue. We well, might as well take the whole. Take the whole lot. No, no, don't take the whole lot. Don't be ridiculous. Right, we probably can make our own glue in Hydrocraft. Anything's possible with the mod. Yeah, so can we do this? Oh ho ho ho! Yep, so we'll do that first. 
So iron ore, cinnabar, lead ore, red clay. I have a feeling that the iron ore and lead ore are things that could be put to better use. I don't know if cinnabar has any other uses. So let's do that. OBS, are you with me, son? Yep. Come on, Richard. Red pigment. Okay, well there's one. So it gives you a whole heap of pigment, just from one little bit of clay, which is nice. Aye. Aye, ya. Uh, we've got units of water, we've got an empty paint bucket, we've got red pigment, and we've got glue. Right, let's have a look here. Is it under the alchemy tab again? Ah, fuck it. Can of blue paint. Can of brown paint. Can of cyan paint. Can of green paint. Can of grey. Can of light blue, light brown, orange, pink, purple, turquoise, white, yellow. So, what are they telling me? That white in the primary colours can only be done in jars? No, you can do a can of blue paint. No red or yellow. Well, I have an empty jar. But if I'm not able to paint the wall from the jar, then this will be a total bummer. And rather a large waste of time. Uh, where's my cooking store? Where are we? Sure, we got one in here somewhere. Ah, oh, fuck me, Jenkins. Where is it? Jar with lid. Got loads of them there. Hmm. Okay. mixed jar of red paint. Well let's just do one for now. Let's see how it interacts with the pigment. How much do we take? Not much at all. Alright, that's pretty decent. So, didn't take much water either. Hmm. So we've got ourselves down on the ground here a jar of red paint can't we can't decant it into the paint bucket okay um, put that down there put that down there as well and the red pigment and the glue How have I got three glue now oh did I pick up three okay right well this might suck let's go and test this out paintbrush ah fuck it no we can't do it nope it's not gonna let us do it ah oh, man so we're either gonna have to paint the library a different colour or we're gonna go onto the forums now and beg Hydromancer to um, to allow us to um, mix red paint it's that or I try and find out how to code it into the um, into the game um, it's probably an easy way to code it but uh, that requires a bit of time and stuff okay guys well um, that's what I'm gonna do anyway I'm gonna post this onto the forums um, yep and I'll wait to hear back alright I'm gonna get this episode out at least anyways so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one, I don't know when that will be. I've got a week off work, which is lovely, but you know, I've got um, mm. commitments and stuff. I've got to do a lot, a lot of DIY and things like that. Um, yeah, but I will, I will try my best, guys. Nice one. Take it easy. See you next time.